picture from our chopper now arriving at the scene. Uh, Jim Friedel in Hoboken uh, said it appeared to bank sharply and mm. smash directly, perhaps purposefully, into... Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, God. There's another one. Oh, oh my goodness, there's another this one. This seems to be on purpose. Oh, I was reading goodness. how you were in Chopper 5 on 9-11. It's obvious, I think. Yes. And I was just wondering, like, uh, were, were you in the chopper working the camera, or...? Yeah, I was, I was in the helicopter working the camera and also reporting, but, um, uh, I really can't, I'm not really, you know, at liberty to really talk about it any further. You know, the station that I work for, um, you know, Fox here in New York, you know, the further I don't, you know, really comment much about it. Did you see the plane coming in, like, from far away or anything, or...? Uh, not from far away. I, mean, I, I, I myself didn't see it, but the pilot saw it. Yeah, and you, yeah. so you did the zoom in on the on the tower just as the plane had hit. Well, I knew that the plane was coming in because the pilot told me. Oh, you knew it was coming in towards the tower. Well, the pilot said that the guy was flying really low, and mm -hmm. he was heading for the tower. I mean, when you fly that low over, you know, if you, when you fly that low over the Hudson River, you know, I mean, it's. I mean, it's, it's a very unusual occurrence in an aircraft of that size. I don't think... Uh, well, I mean, there's a lot, there are a lot of theories out there about, you know, what may have happened and, you know, what may or may not have happened. Um, you know, I know what I saw happen. I know that there's a big hole in the ground there now, and there, there are no towers left, and there are several thousand people that disappeared off the face of the earth. I mean, I know that. How we arrived at that point, there are a lot of different theories about how that, you know, how that happened, and I... I can't really comment on, you know, a lot of the conspiracy theories that are floating around out there. Is it possible? Of course it's possible, but anything's possible. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's um, understandable. You know, you, both, sides of the, both sides of the case can be argued, you know, and, and evidence on both sides can be presented. doesn't mean that it happened. Have you ever watched any videos on the Internet, like, say, something like September Clues or any of those kind of videos at all? I've seen I've seen some of you know some of the stuff on there, but um, like I would I would think like it, it's impossible for the nose of the plane to come out the other side intact, like it shows on that video footage. Like I can't, you know. I mean, I like I said, you know, I don't know how that's possible. But we have it. But it's like you, there. Yeah, but like you recorded this. You personally recorded this on video, showing like an imp an impossible. Uh, well, how is it? How do you know that that's impossible? Well, because with the the nose of the plane's made out of like fiberglass and it's hollow, and it goes through. Steel. No, I mean you don't know. I mean, how many times have you seen a plane crash into the side of a building? Oh, I understand that, but just being able to come out the other side intact after going through steel. It's obviously possible because it happened. Mm -hmm. and, you know, whether or not it can be sufficiently explained is another issue. There's a lot of things in life that can't be, that can't be, you know, fully explained.